हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो फॉर द फर्स्ट थिंग इज टू चेंज द इंजन ऑयल सो फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू हीट अप द इंजन बाय स्टार्टिंग बिकॉज़ द इंजन ऑयल गेट्स फ्रीज फर्स्ट वी विल टेक ऑफ द इंजन ऑयल आउट सो इन ऑर्डर टू ड्रेन द इंजन ऑयल वी हैव टू रिमूव दिस बोल्ट आउट एंड so you remove this underbelly also in order to remove the underbelly there is a screw both side of this and there is a nut here so that it will come completely off So the coolant has been drained completely. Make sure you clean this filter before installing so that there is no dust formulate. So the next step is to drain the coolant oil. So to drain the coolant, we have to remove this nut so that the coolant will come completely off. So after removing that nut, the coolant will not completely come off. We have to remove this. radiator cap so that the coolant will come completely off so we have removed everything from the bike as you can see we have also opened the radiator cap so now the coolant will come completely coolant has been completely draining off and you see, as you can see this is the canton air filter we have fitted in the last video so yeah the coolant has been completely drained uh, as you can see it is drained completely so the next thing we are going to do is to change the fuel filter of the bike so it is a mandatory thing to change the fuel filter in every service so this is the kmtm recommended fuel filter so we are going to change this also so in order to remove the ecu you have to just press this switch away and we have to pull this out so it will come completely off so after removing these two screws uh, the the fuel tank completely comes off make sure you don't make sure you, uh, you don't have enough fuel so that it can leak in order to remove the fuel filter we have to unplug these three hoses which are connected so we will just take uh, remove it out using the nose plier just pull this out make sure you know the position of the fuel filter see this is the position so this pipe comes to this and this pipe comes to this so this pipe comes to this so this is the process it's very simple
finally the air fil fuel filter has been completely came off it has more petrol in it so it's getting getting very leak so this was the position of the fuel filter if you connect properly the same wire to it don't connect it wrongly so the fuel filter has been connected properly and don't forget to pull this plug towards its position to the upwards of so that it will be much tighter As you can see the fitment of the fuel filter is being correctly done and you just place it uh, on this clamp before it and you just don't forget to put this clamp in original position so that it doesn't move you can see the condition of the spark plug how it is make sure you don't leave this hole so that the dust can be found dust can be found so that you better close it before you install you you can open it so we are going to install the original spark plug you can see the condition of the old spark plug how it it has been worn out so this is the reason we have to change spark plug on every service so let's do the process so before installing you make sure you put the old bushes to its place
So the AC has been fixed properly. So the current has been completely come off. We will refill the current oil um, before uh, closing the tank up. So this is the minimum and the maximum. This is the minimum and the maximum. So we have to fill the coolant till here. It should, it should not exceed till this. So we will fill it up. So this is the coolant we are going to use. Uh, this is a hybrid tank. So we close the engine now. So I prefer this to put one in the So let's put it. Before filling the coolant oil, don't forget to tighten this net out. So this is the reserve tank, we have to fill on the main radiator also, I have forgot to shoot it. Cleaning this uh, oil filter, make sure there is no oil uh, water content in it, and put it right back on its position and then tighten it up with the with this bolt. So everything has been completely done. And now we are gonna change the engine oil. So for changing the engine oil, we have water and water engine oil. So this is a fully synthetic engine oil, as you can see. So after changing, we are also going to change the oil filter also. This is the KTM preferred oil filter. see the condition so just clean it up with a new clean cloth and we are going to install the new air fil oil filter Make sure you clean this before you install it. So I have cleaned it using water. Make sure there, there is no water contaminant in it and start fixing. So we have fixed with the oil filter in order to open the cap. I have to turn this. So there is a two point on it. You can see the maximum. So we should not exceed the maximum. So it has been open. You can see the quality of the oil. It is very thick and it is fully synthetic oil. You can see 100% synthetic oil. So we are gonna use this.
so the process of the servicing has been done so before doing it we have to start the bike for starting the bike we have to uh, restart the ignition three times so that the fuel can pump into the new uh, fuel filter so we have changed it also so in order to pump the fuel we have to restart this ignition so after you start the bike the engine oil will go all through the engine and uh, the engine oil level will be low so make sure you refuel after starting it up so even the coolant will also be reduced so make sure to fill it up So after running the bike check the engine oil level so it can reduce if it if it reduce uh, make sure you fill it up so make sure to co refill the coolant also it will also become reduced So the complete servicing has been done, we have changed the engine oil, uh, oil filter, coolant, uh, fuel filter, spark plug and make sure you have to do with the chain looping and chain tightening so that the bike will be completely done. So thank you for watching, keep supporting, cheers guys.